How you going? It's that time of year again, when one of my video ideas isn't working out and is taking way longer than I expected. Easy. All right, can you let me get the card? Guys, can I ask something before I start the video? Which I guess, why do I look like a ghost? The, what, what's been happening? What about the lighting? Why am I so fucking white? What, what, guys? Guys, from today's stream to the, the, day, the, the stream a couple days ago, what happened? Yeah, guys, I think my, my logic, guys, my chem is broken. L oh, hold up. Hold up. Oh. What the fuck? That's so cooked. Why is that even a thing? Dude, I can't wear black shirts on stream because it makes everything so bright. And now look, I wear a Solomon shirt for once. Oh guys, I'm gonna be spicy today, guys. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be cool for chat. I'm gonna wear a Solomon shirt. I'm a ghost! I'm a ghost! And I look. I can only wear white fucking shirts, man. Big man ting yay, it's not looking good, brave. Ow! Can you move? Can I put it there, please? Fuck, oh, no, we can't do it manually. I still wanna make money. Guys, lodge the cameras are go- Okay, guys, this is last time I saw the video, I just wanna watch this, okay? Guys, Logitech is garbage software. It's garbage. Some settings are bricked. Okay? Watch this shit. Okay? Watch this. This is why I don't fucking wear black shirts on stream. Damn how My camera, dude, it's so bad. This month and meet a sponsor deadline. So today I'm listening. You can't to fix it. Auto balancing. You you can't do it. You can't do it. I've tried how it. How smart you are. But so you're saying if it's a cold environment, it will come out like a slushy? Yes. Okay. Okay, now most of your suggestions can be categorized into two parts. In OBS? Either things that I'm not capable of doing, huh. or assassination requests. The last of which I'm definitely not doing. For free. And then today I look like a fucking ghost. Which left me with a handful of bad ideas. The first suggestion comes from an anonymous emailer who just sent me this screenshot of a treadmill belt sander. And I love it. Not only is this idea dangerous with the potential of finely grinding away my foot fungus, but I reckon it could actually just be a great cheap way of building a strong belt sander. So the first thing I did was grab a $50 treadmill from Facebook Marketplace and stuff it into my car, breaking a light. And now all I need to do is somehow turn this belt into sandpaper. And at first I thought I could try just gluing sand onto it, but after making a test piece with some PVC glue and sand on paper, I really don't like my chances of covering a whole belt. Oh, it hurts. It's like I'm sanding myself. So instead I took down the measurements of the treadmill belt. and then sent them off to a man that loves sand and asked him to make the most abrasive belt that he could. And one week later, I got this in the mail. If only you had a billion dollars to buy a new camera, do this. Okay, then I just really carefully great took video apart the about treadmill. The hardest climb okay, I'm good. In the world definitely worth watching. Actual juice, XQCL link. Making sure to leave all the spiders exactly where they were, and then fitted the new belt onto it. Guys, yeah, it look better now or not? And 
now, I think it's done. It looks actually quite nice. So let's see how it works. Please move. Nice. So I adjusted the belt to stop it scraping and tried again. That is terrifying. See what it does to something. Buy 10 cameras and choose the best one and throw the other nine away, you rich Madafuka. Sorry about and I the couldn't bad hold timing. the piece of wood still, so I made some support to help me do that. And with that, it worked really well and sanded away an inch of wood in a matter of seconds. And it's so awesome that this thing actually makes a fantastic belt sander while also retaining the original charm and purpose of the treadmill, helping you grind away your body weight. Wow. <laughs> So I decided I need to run on it. it doesn't feel that bad. And I'm not actually that worried, as I figure as long as I keep up with the speed of the belt, it shouldn't actually grind away my feet. If anything, I'll get more grip and potentially set a new world record. Okay, oh yeah, it hurts me slip. As long as you do this and not that, you're chilling, right? Suggestion number two is already my favorite on paper and comes from Queef Chief in my Discord server who wants me to make an emergency hot dog Sick. that heats up when you crack it like a glow stick. And I'm honestly not sure why this doesn't exist already. It sounds like the perfect food for wealthy castaways or for people that are just sick of eating glow sticks. Don't worry, Queef Chief, I've got your back. And to do this, I think I'm going to need some hot dogs. Well, when I was, well, when I was a kid, we tried that shit. We would and eat, when I would eat some of the chemical, floor. And which is definitely fucking... not sodium hydroxide. It should hopefully get hot enough to warm up the hot dog. So I looked up the perfect temperature of a hot dog, which the, is actually a pretty part. tricky question to answer. And I found scientific papers well, that have been done eat a lot this of it, exact just, subject. You'd sprinkle it. to be a joke. And no one seems to agree, and it changes depending on where you are in the world, like New York, Australia, or China. But I settled for a target somewhere in the middle, around 70 degrees. And this water with the chemical reaches a crazy 129 Guys, the trial hasn't started. It takes like an hour to start. You, you have to wait. And now, I wanted to check how that temperature feels on my hot dog. What? Perfect. Next, I need a water bag that I can pop easily to mix with the solution. So I cut open the instant cold packs and stole the little water bag. And now I just realized that if I mix these chemicals together in a confined space like I was planning, they might just explode. Yeah, so that's I decided it's gonna be a to bomb. test it first. That is so hot. Wow. And I didn't die, which is good. So now I need a bag to put the hot dog and chemicals in. Let me, go, let me, let me get take a look at it. Um, and I think you, um, would this information have been relayed to you at that first meeting with Ms. Bird? This information, if if it was information I received from Dr. Kipper, I would have had- Is that gonna be live now? Fantastic yeah, this is, this is, sealable bags. It's and not, it's not full full, is it? But you can only order them in units of 10,000 or more. And I'm not ready to become a full-time hot dog business yet. But no, I, I think I probably make my own bag. If I get some plastic like this and run a solid oh, it's along it, it shit, then. together. So I just did this to create a pocket and then drew what I would want my packaging to look like. Then put the hot dog and chemicals yeah, inside. I'm not that. Then sealed that. up the other end. And here we have it, the crack dog. Named this because it looks like it's filled with crack. They're so milky. Let me smell anything. It's there. It's a court it case tomorrow. What if I just do? What the fuck? Well, it's getting hot. 68 degrees in the back. Let's leave it like that for a while. Let's crack our delicious hot dog open. Okay. 
Am I allowed to touch that? No. Oh. Maidenless. Link. Right. It's actually hot. Well, it's not cooked though. That's good. And that worked perfectly. The hot dog was nice and hot. The only problem was that sodium hydroxide is a highly poisonous corrosive substance that causes skin burns. Zero out of 10. Suggestion number three what? comes from an anonymous mailer who suggests I do a NordVPN sponsorship and get money. That is a great idea. I've been using NordVPN for years and it allows me to have peace of mind when surfing the web as it huge discount and a 30 day money back guarantee that's nordvpn.com slash born and cool. i received but one stood out as the worst from william wave 999 who wants me to get one of those kids ankle hopping games but put a machete on the end and then cut my law so i went to toys r us and bought one of their ankle hoppers but they were out of machetes so i bought one of their kitchen knives instead and then bought another one to open the packaging Then I removed the blade and attached it to the rope and then got the ball and attached it to the handle. And now I have the world's most dangerous kids toy and funnest kitchen knife. So before I try using it well, and my, my ankles, I thought I should do a practice warm up. Great, let's do this. And I did actually mow my lawn recently, but I left a little section just for this test. And this goes without saying, but I am a trained professional and my family has been cutting their lawns like this for generations. So do not try this at home. Oh. And I can actually manage to keep it going. So I decided to try and cut the grass. and I couldn't spin it on the grass, so I went back to the concrete and decided that I can move in once the blade is spinning. So I'll bring it into it. Oh. You cut my foot, but not the grass. One out of 10. Okay, on to the last suggestion. And I think I have no choice now but to go with Clumsy Ninja's suggestion from my Patreon and make a machine that can chew for me. So I looked up some machines that already do this and all of them just make me feel very, very uncomfortable. So I've decided I'm gonna make a non-humanoid looking one using a blender, a welder, not my helmet, this tube and some metal. So first I cut open the top of the helmet and remove the brain so I have space to put in the blender. Now I need a hole in the blender so the tube can funnel the delicious mush into my mouth. And to make this hole, I got a whole bit and just put it in the blender and turned it on. And now I have this hole, which is actually kind of terrifying as it gives me direct access to the blade when it's spinning. See, this is why he's a little sucker. He's not gonna put his glizzy in it. At the beginning he said it, He's gonna try with his glizzy. So I decided I'd do, do the same test as with the hot dog. Put the glizzy and see in. If it's working all right. <sighs> Perfect. Then I place the whole thing in the helmet and attach oh. the tube. All right. Then I cut these metal pieces and placed it together in perfect right okay, angles. Okay, never mind. Good video. I like it. And again, and again. Then I gave it a coat of paint, sanded it down, and finally was left with this. I didn't pre-watch. So let's go test it out. Okay, for the test, I chucked in some berries, some banana, and some yogurt. Guys, yeah, 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 yeah. imagine you're dating this guy, right, you're a girl, and you pull up with your car, you come from work, right, you do a normal job, and you see this absolute degenerate in the garage doing shit like this. I mean, look at him. I mean, it's kind of working. <laughs> That's my head. 
it so much. Kind of worked. I have a headache. Five out of ten. Okay, and now for the winner. And they are all bad ideas. And only all together do they barely create a video. So the winner is NordVPN. And I'm not just saying that because they were the only people on the list not to injure me, but they also gave me a lot of money. Thanks for watching. If you like that, subscribe and check out some of my other videos. Sounds like a good trade-off. Guys, what about the hammer, guys? This is dumb. It's gonna, it's gonna be dumb.